everybody. I'm Will. I'm Sam. And I'm Adam. And we are Working, working Title Shield Wall. Enthusiasm. Guys, we are back for another episode of Vinland Soga. This is season one, episode 11, A Gamble. Last on. Guys, which one of you wants to say what happened last? Canute got captured by Thorkel. Yes, she did. He. He did. We don't know. The main army disbanded from the land. Yes. I, I guess they won. I can't remember. Escalade decided to stay and uh, pillage some villages. Yeah. There was a rhyme there. <laughs> I'm not going to call nice. it. Nice. <laughs> and then a guy from the, the remainder of the main army came and said, hey, we need like at least 100 men. Yeah. And Escalad was... And the I will not believe it. it. He's gonna go get Canute for himself. And Thorkel. And Thorkel. And, and trade them to either side. The and highest make a bear. lot of money. The highest bear. Also, yeah. I, I thought we had a very interesting side of Escalad the last episode. We did. He seems like he just wants to go out with a bang. The we're, Viking way, maybe. Um, we're still trying to figure out what his deal... His, not his deal. What his, like, intentions are. Like, why right. he's here or why he's doing this. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Ready to die. Mm-hmm. Hopefully not. Guys, if you enjoy this content, make sure you leave a like. Push that subscription button. Notification bell's right there. Leave a comment down below about what you thought of this episode and our reaction. If you want to see the show one week in advance, check it out on Patreon. Also, Jujutsu Kaisen is back. Woo! It's back on there. Mm. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is up on there. Yeah! And a silent voice. There you go. I was going to say it, but I couldn't remember. As well as Star Wars Visions. And guys, Visions. this is not a market substitute. If you want to go check out Vinland for yourself, do so on Amazon Prime or any other streaming service you can find it on. And then come back and watch us right here. We're going to punch it. Bye. Score. I feel like I have a seizure every time that happens. <laughs> mm. uh, I feel the same way. The best way to <laughs> cool the cold nerves. Fall. Door kill. Oh. Hey, just wow, in time. Oh, it's the leaves. It's about to start. Yes. Oh, yeah, we're in fall. Let's go. Yeah. It's supposed to be really cool tomorrow. Yes. It's already been freezing. Mm -hmm. At night, it's amazing. <laughs> so is this... Okay, so they're not English. <coughs> um... Okay. Okay. What? Okay, so these are probably all Norse people. Uh, that are hired for the French. Maybe that is a dude, and I'm just like... How, the, how would they know? Jesus versus Thor. Please tell me which lore is better. Which is the better lore? Hughes. <laughs> <laughs> It's a wonder they haven't taken off the helmet. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> I am. <laughs> he's bricked up. Did you say he's bricked up? I thought that's what they were implying. You're huge for a girl. He did, yeah. Who's winning Thor Kala or Peggy Carter? I mean, yeah, they said it. <laughs> it's just how they said it back then.
バルキリーとか、ラスケリー者の魂を求めている。やはりちゃう。まさに戦い、まさに死んだ者だけが、展開のバルハラに、welcome and home。See, they, they look like canoe. They do.、Yeah. That's what I said when we first saw the Valkyrie. I can't see you. You're forced to be in hell. I don't feel like anyone knows about Knut. Oh my god. Freaking out. I don't know. Now he's、uh, drunk? Well, no, now he is. Now he is? Just force feed him alcohol. He's still standing, so maybe he didn't drink? No, he didn't. It's on his face. Whichever made booze! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> Skull to that! Oh, it got for real, for real. Yes, the battle's arrived. Please tell me they're here. Oh god. Oh god. I want to see Bjorn go up against this guy. Oh boy. Imagine. He just had. Yep, he's already hulked up. Forfeit. Oh! Oh! I felt that coming. I felt that. That was dumb! Who is this? Oh, Ragnar Streets. Oh, these are the people that wanted.、Um, that's glad? Yeah. Shut up, I know the tactic, man. Come on. That guy's the first one dead. Yeah. Arrows. That's the catch. They're gonna just、Music. wipe them all out. Yeah. He wants a fight. Oh, okay, so you have your few men now come at us. We have the low ground. Bring it. <laughs> Too late. Mad man. Oh man. Oh! Oh, ears. Mr. Ears. <laughs> Anyone good? <laughs> What a dick! Barrels of fire? You see me? Oh! <laughs> oh my, oh god. my god! Oh! It's like a fucking blender! I mean, what the. Oh! Nice! You idiots! <laughs> I want to see her fight. I don't do something! That's why I think she's gonna be the best, just because she's not fighting. Oh, gosh, man. Jesus. <coughs> I was gonna say, I don't even think it's like 200. Damn, he knows when it's gonna be over. Viking oil? Oh, yeah. The barrels. Yeah, it's fire. I think. Yeah. Burn the leaves. This music is crazy. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Wow. Yep. Oh, yeah. 
rascal oh, had you, dog. Oh, yeah. I was, dude, you should have kept growing your beard out and braid it. I actually, when I took off my beard, I shaved it in the form of Askeladd for okay. like a day only. <coughs> Smoke him out too. Right, right, right there. What? こいつは突き火だ。こいつらの作戦じゃねえよな。王子を救出に来て自分のことを役分けもねえだろうし。いや。てことは。うん。大山の勢力。パーティー。ええ。だいさんの勢力。パーティー。やっぱり。やっぱ
Dang. That means he's stronger than him. He can be. I don't think he's hurt. Uh -huh. Wow. We we'll have to fight another guy. Okay, okay. If you're able to escape me. Mm. Let the hunt begin! Interesting, okay. <laughs> oh my god, they, they were just walking along. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize they were enemies. Did it without a single scrape. Good thing Thorkel knew him. ストロー。ストロー。ストロー。ストロー。ストロー。ストロー。ストロー。ストロー。ストロー。ストロー。ストロー。ストロー。ストロー。ストロー。ストロー。ストロー。ストロー。ストロー。ストロー。ストロー。
No. But it's not like humid. I like the dry. You like the dry? Crunch, the crunch, the crunch. leaves. That's such a good thing. It's literally all, per- it like falls perfect until daylight savings time, and then I just immediately get depressed. Yeah. I don't. Well, then when winter comes, it's like, well, fuck this. I don't know for our, our viewing base how many people can relate, but we're from the East Coast in the US, so there's this like time of the year where I love It's like the end of the fall, the end of summer. And it's just like crossing into the fall territory, and you can still feel the heat of summer, but like, it's not overwhelming. And it's yeah. on days where it's not humid, you get like a dryness. Yeah. And there's like a cold breeze that starts to come in, but not overwhelming to the point that you get chilly. And I call it midsummer. It's not actually midsummer because midsummer is the middle of summer. But I always just. The first time I ever felt it as a kid was when I was in the play Midsummer's uh, Midsummer's Night, Night Dream. Mid- Midsummer Night Dreams, and that took place during fall. So I would feel that a lot, and I would just associate the play yeah. and that fun sensation, that like euphoric feel of out the outdoors during that prime <laughs> season as the midsummer. Yeah. Um, or you could just say the horror film where it's like all oh, LSD and euphoric. So there you go. Um, <laughs> I like this time of year because my fits are hard this time of year. It's true. Yeah. Everybody gets to dress up. Yeah. I like wearing tons of clothes. So. We got Halloween coming up too. I'll be wearing right. sweaters and I'm excited. Sweaters. Flannels. I'll be wearing flackets again. Uh, but yeah, for this episode, I loved, I loved the, I mean, what's new? We already, we say every episode we love the colors and we love the music. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a track in this. I don't know if you guys have picked it up. Um, I know it might be a little bit easier for me on rewatch, but there's times where like when the music pumps up, you hear this like, it's like this really weird eerie music anyone who like is obsessed with this show i'm sure you might know what i'm referring to i heard I, where it became the most distinct was when torfin went up against thorkel at london bridge uh but they played it again oh, here yeah i know what you're talking about it's like this really like it's like this weird like Ambience. creepy build-up um that it's like really intense I don't know. It's just the, one of my one of my favorite like tracks I've noticed so far on the show. Was I, it when I said the music? Um, and the camera was panning up to Thorkel during London Bridge episode. No, no, just right now because you said it was in this episode. I don't remember where it played, but I did. I heard it briefly, um, and I just wanted to say it because I haven't really talked about the music uh, a whole lot, um, just because there's a lot of other stuff to talk about. But yeah. The, uh, Thorkel turning into a blender and yeah. just like yeah. Yeah. ripping through everything is just like he I mean literally it was like a blender like everything yeah. was getting chopped I mean it the wasn't wood even, as well I mean he literally cut through three guys and a tree yeah all at yeah, the yeah. same time yeah um which is wild and yeah. it's very intimidating to know it's also kind of more intimidating to know that Tors was stronger than, than him? him yeah. So yeah, I feel like we haven't seen Tors in his prime. Yeah, I want to see Other some than that, the first. Well, we saw him literally like a visit. Yeah. He killed fifteen men and true. like destroyed a whole boat. Yeah, yeah, and like in a second. So that's true. Um, but and yeah, he, no, yeah, never mind. It's not important. Sorry. I uh, I enjoyed that, and then finally getting confirmation that probably it's a princess and not a prince. Yeah. So still not one hundred percent. I mean, they haven't said. Yeah. I don't know, like. Uh, it's, it's, come on, guys. It, she is a princess. Can, can talk, they literally said, please? do you mean princess? Like, Well, okay. Here's the thing. That, and here's what I threw out there like in the episode of like... So I was saying that what if... I assumed that there wouldn't be this much focus on the prince if it wasn't actually... Like, if that wasn't yeah. the person. But it was just weird because the priest is always there but like never saying anything. He always has his head down and his eyes are covered too, more so yeah. than hers. So I was wondering, I was like, I wonder if he's the actually the prince. Yeah. But he's just like a monk mm. to protect him, be, you know, from whatever. Sure. And that the princess... Or the girl that's like being the body double is just oh. supposed to stand in. Did not? Did we not bring oh, that wow, up last man. episode? No, we because brought, didn't no, I make a joke? No. Corday. You did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's. That I, I, I didn't know that's what you were referring to. I don't. I don't know when you made the Corday okay. joke. Um, the, the, I didn't even know that's what you were referring to. That's no, what, I thought we were watching place. something else. I don't think we were watching Vinland when you brought that up. Hmm. I don't. I don't remember. Um, but. And I, but, I have a good well, idea about that. That's, that's like kind of where I felt um, yeah. in that moment because of that. 
Like, because they never even said that that actually is Canute. They said, like, show me your face. What if, like, she... What if she takes it off and in the next episode she's like, I'm actually not Canute. It's the um, priest. I'm not even the princess, actually. I'm just, you know, here, so... What know. if it's Hordaland? Yeah. No, it's not. That's a... Yeah. It's a... Hordaland's, um... A Aslan's uncle. uncle's slave, so... I... But yeah, that's... It'd be... What if, it, what if it's, like, they're twins? They could be. Or they siblings... And the the girl was the uh, Canute was born first. Yeah, I was just about to say they're a couple and, seconds older. Or uh, sorry, even if it's not twins though, if it's just siblings and she was born first, and uh, he was born second, and he chose the the priest life or something. Yeah, and like he, he didn't want it, and so either one <coughs> because you choose a position away from like positions. No, it like he they maybe found like a. A hierarchical way out of it, or or it was like the girl just was super like I don't care that I'm not a guy. I'm gonna be the the next descendant down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I'm the first blood. Like I'm the first one out. Yeah. I get the position. I don't care that I'm not a guy. Like just make me the next king. Yeah, because then the king King Swen said to Ragnar is like, oh, you've raised him to be too much of a Christian. Now, granted, we always saw Canute just sitting on their knees on. You know her knees praying, mm-hmm. but the priest was always there also at the same mm-hmm. time. Like they have been inseparable, so that's why I'm like, eh, it's yeah, it's kind of weird. Like yeah, yeah. I don't know exactly what's going on, but all I know is that her name is not Canute. For I would imagine, like, yeah. Well, another cool th- like option too is if she if it's just her, like, what if she's the only child, like he wasn't able to, like, they weren't able to bear children produce, produce ever again. Heir. And, yeah. like, it's more of the king's, like, you're gonna be my yeah. heir. Don't care what people say. If we have to just call you he for the time being to make it slide and get people comfortable with your accolades without them knowing, maybe we can, like, get people, like... It's like a Mulan type of deal. Yeah, like, like get you... Get Like, it. get, like, warm them, warm them like a frog in the pot. Like, get them used to the girl, the, this girl. Because the, 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 we're in the culture of guys who don't believe in, like, women, so, like, get them... <laughs> uh, no, no, I'm saying, like, I know, I just... The, idea, the, the phrasing was funny to me. Uh, like, I'm saying, like, adjust the men. See this girl do awesome things because they're going to be stubborn about it and should be show, like, yeah, she's better than you at everything. And also, she's a woman. Boom, suck it. And just, like, stick it. Because, like, I just feel like that's going to have to be what it is. Like, I feel like that's the reason why it's emphasized. Not because we're not able to detect that it was a girl right off the bat. Because we we did. I still think, like, the purpose of it is because if you show the men, they're all going to start having a uh, a manic attack. Which yeah. is kind of what we saw at the end of the episode. Is yeah. they're like... Uh, what? Yeah. <laughs> like... I, I can't imagine they're going to be extremely happy about it next episode. So watch her be a badass shield maiden. I mean, I'm now le- I'm now leaning that she's going to be trash. Yeah. Only because she hasn't done anything. I don't care though. Like I still think it'll be an even, interesting plot point. Does she even have a sword on her? I don't, know. I don't think so. But she's probably going to fall in love with Torfin because he's like he turned around and was like. Stay there. I'll Wait, handle this. I'm gonna protect you. And then she gave yeah. this like gloomy stare. Uh, yeah, at him. I, was, <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm trying to figure here out. Here we go. I thought Hordlin might have been like one the of one. the. Uh, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm not sure. And Hordlin's from royalty too. Like, I don't know who, but she is a some royal family figure. Yeah, a lord. daughter of some lord somewhere. Man, what if they're like? No, they can't be related. It was a different country. Yeah. Um. Yeah, a good episode. I you know I actually I do like Ragnar. Uh, I think he's an interesting character. Uh, I like the idea of like th- I think he's level headed. The secrecy. No, I like I like his level headedness. I like like where his mind is. I like. Remember, I was saying like I feel like there's not a lot of I've used like five times right there. Wow, without making it without <laughs> making a single point. I was saying, I wanted more like competent characters on the show or like a different set of ideology so i think these three will be weird or like interesting with Askeladd. especially because i would say thorkel is like your typical viking i would say ragnar is a viking who's moved on to christianity i would say you have a christian guy the, the monk who is like not really fully like christian i mean Oh, I think we're just gonna see him be a drunk from now. Well, that's on. what I was saying. He, like he had the whole like, 
opposite of what you think a monk would be. Like, he was talking about... I mean, he was drunk, to be fair, but he was, like, saying, like, what you wouldn't expect a monk to be saying from this yeah. time period. Yeah, he tapped out. And Canute, I don't necessarily know. I don't think Torfin is either way about it. I don't think he really cares about the gods. He's just in his own revenge he's thing right now. Head. He's yeah. He's too young to, I think, take part in that conversation. Yeah. And then we got Askeladd, who's not really necessarily, like, full Norse either. Like, his mindset kind of separates him from his people. Yeah. So I think I'm about to get what I just asked for. I really liked Escalade's strategy of trying to, to yeah. win this, this battle. Yeah. I thought that was very tactical of him. Mm-hmm. I feel like he did sacrifice some of his own men, which I think, of course, he would do. Of course. He doesn't give a shit about them. Even though in the past we did say... It seems like he does care about his men. I think in the last episode we said that. When did, I, when did he sacrifice his men? I, I said, I think, oh. in this episode. Why do you think that? Some of them, I mean, some of them had to have gotten burned. Well, they, I don't know they, if they, they went they in the woods. The fires. I think they just sent the kid in. I think they, they was literally only sacrificed him. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. all the people that burned, they sacrificed Ragnar's men. But yes. Yeah. No, we don't give a fuck about them. That's mm-hmm. not our crew. They, yeah. like, they, because they, literally. Askeladd was like, well, if we killed Canute or Thorkel, no one doesn't would know matter. it was us. doesn't matter. Yeah. No one will yeah. know it's us. Like, they literally nice... just set the fires and let it roll. That was a nice scapegoat. He was like, we, we are going to tell the, the king that we were just looking for venison because this is how we cook, uh, like, kill kill tons of prey. And they won't know the difference. Yeah. We, we didn't know that they were here right now. We were just passing through the area. I wonder yeah. if that's how they, like, do mass, like, get mass production of like protein and meats they just like burn, burn a forest burn a forest get tons of rabbit carcasses Maybe. and deer carcasses that's a hell of a way to do it I never thought of that option um Yeesh. and we got the confrontation between Thorkel mm-hmm. and Thorfinn mm-hmm. got a little information about Tors that he's stronger than Thorkel yeah um and it seems like Thorkel wants to have uh wants to talk more on that with uh, Thorfinn. Yeah. He's gonna be, like, the uncle that just, like, wants you to get stronger, so they're gonna, like, beat you up or yeah. try to fight you, even though you're, like, a toddler compared to them. Yeah. So. I did like that he's not, like, letting him get completely away scot-free. It's yeah. more of, I know your father, I'll give you the prince, you get, like, a day's time to get the hell away from me, and then I'm gonna start coming for you. And let's see if you can get to the king before I get to the king. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. yeah. Do you think he will catch up? I mean, I'd imagine that they probably all get to the king at the same, same time. Same time. That'll be how it goes. Oh, man. Uh, rat race. Yeah. <laughs> First one there. <coughs> tripping each other on the way, trying to screw each other's boats, like sneak up and start pull a little drilling little holes <laughs> in with your knife, trying to like deflate their ships. <laughs> occasionally steal like one of their pirates yeah yeah, yeah. it was a solid episode yeah I enjoyed it I liked it true I also and I was talking with my buddy about this and it kind of gave me a rejuvenation of the story in a non-spoiler way saying that this portion of the story is really still going to be the prologue season one entirely so we got a prologue to understand where Thorfinn's family's from from his dad and that season one entirety in its entirety is a, a prologue to the stuff that comes later. Later. Which is yeah. super reassuring to me. Um, just the idea that but because I've been like concerned about the pacing, knowing that this is really just an establishment for whatever the hell else. I don't even know. Like I, that's I crazy yeah. to me. Like that's also like super exciting because I don't even know what that like that statement hypes me up, but also leaves me like really excited wonder. I think this yeah. is a good episode to like start with that mentality now going forward. So Yeah, because we don't know what we're gonna be running ourselves into yeah. at this point. So I'm definitely a lot happier mentally with the show than I was last week, so. But, you think um, we'll see a betrayal? Um, of King from, Swen? From our group? Yeah. Oh, from like when they get to King Swen? Mm-hmm. Because they're both huh. going to him. I mean, they're in for the money. Like, yeah. They're, like, they're going to get paid in balance. They don't care to fight Torquil, really. Like. Yeah. So. I don't know. What, what do you think of King Swen? I don't... We don't know a whole lot about him. He hides kind of his face in the shadows. Is he not sick? I thought he was sick, too. I mean, it could just be his age. It is that time period. I don't know how long people live around this era, but... 
Uh, I don't really know what to predict next. Yeah. Yeah. Who, like, out of all the episodes right now that we've watched, like, what's, like, your, what is the most memorable, and then what's, like, your favorite episode? Memorable would be Thor's, Thor's death. Mm -hmm. Um, that flashed in my head immediately when you said memorable. Um, favorite is probably when he, uh, Thorfinn takes the head of the general, where we saw his perspective. Mm, Toad, the wall. Toad King. Yeah. The Toad King. Toad guy. My, yeah, most memorable, memorable is the, the trap with the father's death. Uh, favorite episode is when... The intro to His Thor first, Kells Thor Kells first, no, Thorfinn's right. first kill, sorry. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. And he's just screaming at the sky, and Askeladd looks over like, holy shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I think my, I have the same answer as you. My most memorable is uh, Tor's dying, and then the episode where uh, Torfin's surviving. That is the mm-hmm. my my favorite so far. Yeah, the Tor's death. I think it's it, it is the most memorable right now, just because it's like what everything else is stemming off of. Yeah, it was the most impactful scene. Well, it's also, like, where our main character's, like, primary focus is yeah, so far, it. so it's, like, the most the most reminded thing in the show. Mm, also yeah. with the few uh, reoccurrences of the arrow bombardment shot, as well as uh, uh, just the occasional, <coughs> the, the occasional <laughs> shots of tours showing up in, like, hallucinations or remembrance, so. Yeah. I'm excited. Ready for next week. And you guys good? Yeah. Yeah. Guys, make sure you leave a like on this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below on your thoughts on today's episode of Vinland Saga. Uh, if you want some things on Patreon, we have this a week in advance, we have Full Metal a week in advance, we have Star Wars Visions a week in advance, as well as A Silent Voice that's going to be out for a month until November. Um, and I think that's it. Is that... Oh, and JJK's back, so oh. also check that out, but for the time being, we are going to punch it. See ya! Bye! Bye.